What up guys, Gmail here, and today I will be going over a 3D FPS game. Now this is my remake of the tutorial. I um, deleted my last tutorial because the audio sync got really messed up, so I'm going to go ahead and redo this in smaller parts because that was a long video. So this is going to be in more parts, and yeah. So um, let's go ahead and begin. What I've done is I've created a just a box that says P for player I've created the horizontal wall the vertical wall okay so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a room create an object name that my player and just give him the sprite and just put him in the room uh, it can be anywhere in the room wherever you want so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start in full screen mode and don't display the cursor okay so for our obj player in the create event we're gonna actually start uh... 3d up so we're gonna do d3d start and this allows game maker to know that we are starting 3d okay now we need to go ahead and explain the x coordinates so if you want your player Sorry about that. If you want your player to start where you put him in the room, go ahead and put x equals x. If not, if you want him to start in the middle of the room, I'm going to do room width divided by 2. And y equals room height divided by 2. And I'm going to put z to equal, and this is how tall your FPS character is going to be. So if you want him really tall, you could do like 80, 90. Um, if you want them really short, do like 30, 40. I'm going to go right in the middle of that and I'm going to do like 55. Okay. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is those are the coordinates for him. Now, actually, why I did room height divided by 2 is because we're going to be using the divided by 2 variable a lot. Um, pretty much, if you do a room width, it's this whole width, and then you divide that by 2, uh, which is dead center in the width in the X so that's going to be used more so now we're going to do x next equals x y next equals y and z next equals z now these are just variables that we need to go with um, these variables the x y and z so they're pretty much just placeholders so because if we put the z variable in for our coding it might mess up what the z value is and we don't want that we just want separate values to um, correspond with that so then we're going to do direction equals zero okay so let's just see how much time we got here okay so now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh... draw so in the draw event we're going to do Direction minus equals display mouse get x two parentheses minus display whoa display get width two parentheses divided by two and divide that whole thing by five. So what this is pretty much telling us is the direction is going to equal what our width is hence display mouse get x because x is width and that's why we display get width okay and then we just divide that by two like I said to bring it in the middle so now we're gonna do z next minus equals parentheses again display mouse get y two parentheses minus and then what do you think uh, is next. If this was display mouse get x, and this is display mouse get y, and this is display get width, what would this be? Display get height. Because we're dealing with the y axis, and that y axis is always height. So we're going to divide that by 2 and then divide the whole thing by 2 again just to get it in the center. So now we're going to go ahead and position the mouse actually in the center of the uh, screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go um, display mouse set 
display get width two parentheses divided by two comma display get height oh my god if that does that again <laughs> display get height so this is pretty much just uh, putting the mouse in the center of the screen so now we're gonna go ahead and put um, x next equals length dir underscore x two parentheses 100 or yeah 100 oh my god and direct oh my god plus x I don't know if you guys can hear that but there's like that um I don't even know what's in the background there it's like a like a beeping noise but alright so yeah this is just the direction that it's putting this is the length for the x direction so now we're gonna do y next equals length dir underscore y two parentheses and then the same thing 100 direction plus y and there we go with that so now we're gonna um, see how, how we're doing and alright so this will be the last thing we're do we're gonna go ahead and set the projection of the room so we're gonna do d3d set projection and we're gonna do 0 comma or no 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 we're gonna do x comma y comma z this is from where you start and this is going to be x next, y next, z next, and then 0, 0, 1. So that's going to go ahead and set the projection for where you're looking at. So that's it for this tutorial. I'll come back in part 2, and uh, we'll go ahead and continue this.